Well, good morning everyone. Uh, we have the chance in Brussels to uh, be here today with Luisa from a wonderful uh, wine estate in Sicilia, which is called Azienda Milazzo. Hi, good morning. Good morning, Miguel. Uh, could you just uh, make a little introduction to your extraordinary wine estate in Sicilia? Yes, Milazzo Wine Estate is, um, um, is owned by the family Milazzo, Mr. Giuseppe Milazzo, Giuseppina Milazzo, his, her, his daughter, and um, Giuseppina's husband, Mr. Saverio Milazzo. It's a family estate and uh, is uh, highly focused on quality wines, um, especially um, wines from um, native, native mm -hmm. indigenous grape varieties that only in Sicily you can find. Like? Like, of course, the Nero Davola is the... For, for, for red wines? Yeah. Yes, for the red wines yeah. is the Nero Davola and there is um, the, 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 the most known uh, uh, grape variety, red grape variety in Sicily, but we use also Nero Capuccio, we use also Perricone. And these are the only, only uh, varieties we grow in our vineyards uh, and uh, we make wine um, like uh, Chateau. We use only the grapes from our vineyards. Uh, we don't sell grapes, we don't buy grapes. The, the cycle um, um, is completed from uh, the vineyards to the bottle entirely at the estate. And let's maybe say to our readers that for the whites, you have Catarato. Of course, for the, um, uh, the white varieties um, we use cataratto, especially um, the cataratto lucido, that is a, a special kind of um, this grape variety. And uh, we use also the variety called insolia. And um, yes, for the whites, um, these are the, 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 the the vines that we use. And we can maybe also add that all your wines have been awarded. You have red wines, you have white wines, rosé wine and spumanti, sparkling wines also. Yes. And they have been awarded for most of yes. them. Yes. Uh, in 20 years we have um, collected more than uh, 250 medals. Uh, we started to enroll our wines to the, um, the wine challenges of the world, mainly the Concord Mondial of Bruxelles yeah. and uh, also the Vinitaly, um, Vinitaly wine competition. Uh, that is very famous in Italy and pres prestigious, and uh, let the challenge do then in uh, in Bordeaux, and so um, uh, the competitions are for us um, 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 a, a benchmark, uh, and um, we want always to achieve um, better results than uh, the previous years, and and the most of the time we succeed, and so this this wine in particular uh, this year was awarded a gold medal at the Challenge du Vin in Bordeaux and we are very very proud that uh, the French uh, they, they appreciate our wines of course they don't know the wines come from yeah. Sicily because the, um, the challenge uh, is uh, blind tasting mm -hmm. and uh, so sometimes the results are uh, really surprising so we can we can maybe say to our readers and remember to finish this interview, that is Terre della Baronia, Sicilia, Rosso, uh, 2012. Yes, it's um, a 2012, is um, an organic wine, uh, the estate is completely uh, certified as um, vino biologico, and um, in, in this case we, we have, um, we mentioned already, we, we have the Nero Davola and the Pericone, in a, in a blend and um, the vintage uh, signifies that the wine has been refined at least three years in French oak barrique. We have um, um, a special approach to the use of wood for refining the wine. We want to achieve elegance and uh, um, aromatic features so you will never just find wood in our wine. Uh, you will find um, a very um, a, a composite palette of flavors, okay. like um, mm -hmm. uh, like cloves, vanilla, like tobacco, cocoa, um, and so um, this is a wine that is complex, but is also um, a wine that is very approachable. Uh, is a wine that is still a little young, 
um, and it's a wine that you can drink in uh, in the years um, ahead and even after 10 years it's still exactly so exactly because um, our wines um, perform very well in, um, in, in the passing of the time thank you thank you very much Louise, and thanks for coming to Brussels <laughs> thank you thank you